Hello everyone, this is Concho from Concho Sewing and welcome back to another edition of Basics of Sewing. In this video tutorial I'll try and upgrade the previous knowledge I had of uh, sewing the curved edges and try you some techniques on how I make these on how I make these uh, curvatures to uh, have the end result of having these curved these fine curved edges for your bags, pouches backpacks or whatever you're making. So these are quite easy to make. It's really good addition to your knowledge of sewing. So I hope you can learn this today. All right, so let's start sewing. All right, so these are some of the stuff you will need to make this, uh, to make the pattern for curved edges so you can trace it. So, um, I will present you with uh, three examples. First, we'll go with the most easiest. You'll find some paper or a card box or uh, something which is uh, uh, that has some sturdiness. If you can't find something at hand, you can um, you can layer it three, four times and duct tape it, and that will uh, serve its purpose. The second one is some form of a lid or a cup that's, uh, that has a circle or you can use the, the tape. And third and the most precise example is with the divider. So, let's start with the most easiest and most abundant example. Okay, so the first thing you can find around your house is the paper or some type of card box I'll use this and fold it a few more times this is a two-fold and now I'll add some Okay, and now we need to trace the circle around, but before we do that, we want to measure, we need to measure an angle, so you just take this ruler, triangle ruler, Now let's trace some six, some seven centimeters from both sides. Also, let's mark, find the middle point there. Okay. Next thing we need is any type of a cord. You can use uh, the um, sewing thread and a pencil. This is the least accurate example, but sometimes it might help. It's good to know. So you take the pen in your cord here and you place the pen here, like so. And you place your other side of the cord at the other side like so and you start to draw all right this turned out quite good so next thing we want to use the scissors and cut right on the edge Ok, 
Okay, let's mark which is up. Now we need to, we can just leave it at that, like so, or we can use some tape and bind it to give it a bit more uh, firmness. Okay, next thing, what you want to do is to measure the length of the curve, which is quite good to know, because when you're sewing you need to take into account that curvature, so you can calculate the length of that part for the pouch, so you need to know that. So the way I'm going about it, is I'm taking this ruler, and I place it at the beginning here, at this point, and I start tracing it and adjusting it every time I move it, like so. Let's start again. So that's 11 centimeters. It's good to just write it down. Okay, next thing. Okay, so this is our measure. Now let's go for the second one. Okay, so in some cases uh, it's good to have some translucent plastic, but the second best thing is translucent plastic from uh, bags or from bottles, plastic bottles. Shout out to Kirk for sending me this lovely knife. Okay, so let's draw some lines here. Okay, now let's measure it. Seven centimeters. This was six. Okay, so let's go to the third example and the best one. Okay, so as you can see, this is a translucent plastic, a sheet of translucent plastic, which um, 
uh, I found very very useful all my patterns are made out of this translucent plastic because it's very easy to work with and it's cheap so you can try and finding so you can try finding some retailers at your local store or something that sell these amazing stuff okay so let's just cut the part out here I'll make this one a bit bigger for bigger pouch, bigger bag or whatever. It's good to have different sizes of these things. So this one is 8 cm. Okay, so this is a 8 centimeter. Now let's measure. Now let's measure the length of the curve. Twelve centimeters. Okay, now we have three different sizes. And now I will show you how the uh, how some of those work and how do I make curved edges. So I will show you one example and the rest of it you can try it on your own. This is just a good practice. I just wanted to show you how to make these different types of curves. Okay. For this part I will be using this part of the canvas. You see it has a right angles here, it's a um, 18 centimeters by 10 and I have some um, bottom side bottom side part which will go over it and it is 5 centimeters by 31. Uh, before we start sewing we need to mark we need to mark the middle point here and also we need to mark the middle point here as well ok 
or you can just use the ruler Okay, now it's time to employ this curved edge. So, <clears throat> this is how I do it. I place the the panel, front side, front panel or back panel, and on the edge, on the bottom there, in the corner, I just align it. As you can see, I align these edges. I align these parts and this one too until they are both aligned at this part and in this part and now I just trace it I repeat the process and there you go it's quite easy and you have nice curved edges which will give some style to your pouch and not look like it's a box okay uh, now let's oh by the way um, as you can see I placed this side like so and I trace it and then I just I just turned around and did the same uh, to make it exact same as you can see they're not exact same there's some uh, slight curvature here more than than here to make it exact this exactly the same you need to flip it so you you need to flip it by 180 degrees to make it look exactly the same now it's much it's kind of better okay now it's time to sew this part so align the edges align the middle points and start sewing now when you get to the edge part when you get to this part now you need to adjust it every time you so few stitches now you need to lift the foot as you can see there there is our line which goes there we need to adjust it as you can see here to match this bottom line so every time you sew few stitches flip the canvas and see if you're going on the right track And keep doing that until you get to the straight point. Flip everything around and start sewing back. As you can see now I'm as I'm going I'm using my thumb to push everything inside just to have these two two parts of the canvas underneath the sewing foot because this tends to go inside depending on the canvas it tends to move towards the inside of the foot and you tend to sew it over and ruin the whole part of the canvas so use your thumb carefully and push the canvas around 
and push the canvas inside, like so. Now that you flip the canvas around, start sewing again towards the middle point. Now when you get to the curved edge here, be careful to use your thumb and to push the canvas towards the inside uh, so you don't so the canvas doesn't get in the way of your sewing and you, you ruin your canvas. This happened to me lots of times. This tends to go like this. And you just sew over it and you ruin your whole bag. So be careful and use your thumb to push the everything inside and keep sewing. Now we got to the other side of the curve and now keep using your fingers to align everything give it a few stitches then align it again adjust it and keep sewing align it again Turn everything around. Turn everything around and start sewing towards the middle point. When you get to the curve, be mindful of this. This tends to happen if you're not adjusting it with your fingers and it tends to go over the sewing point, the sewing line and you sew over it like this and you ruin it. So, use your fingers, your thumb to push everything inside so you just have two pieces of canvas over the sewing line. All right. Now when you have finished sewing, you will have these ears type of thing use the scissors cut everything away okay now let's turn this inside out and this is what we got it looks nice it has nice curved edges, stylish for your pouch or bag or backpack, whatever, is your, whatever it is you're making, it will make it look more pleasing to the eye. Alright. Alright everyone, this was the video about curved edges. I hope you learned something today from me. This is quite easy to make as you have seen. It's very useful, very good knowledge to have in your sewing arsenal. If you like what I'm doing, you can support me. So you can comment down below and tell me what did you think of it. You can subscribe, like and share. You can support me on Patreon, you can support me on PayPal. Any support means a lot to me. Alright, so that is it for this video and I'll be seeing you in the next one.